Hi, this is Lisa from She's Crafty. Today we're going to talk about uh, glass etching a Pyrex dish. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is clean the glass with some rubbing alcohol just to avoid smears and fingerprints. Then you're going to want to get a stencil. You can buy one in my Etsy shop or get your own, make your own. Um, but you'll want to make sure you mirror and reverse the image because you're going to etch it on the bottom so it shows through on the opposite side. So you have to mirror it, um, flip it. What you're going to do is peel the paper backing off the back of the stencil. This is a vinyl adhesive stencil that will stick right to the glass and uh, it's really great because it helps with bleeding um, versus the plastic kind that you just tape on and it rests there. So you remove the backing and then you'll want to find a way to line it up to make sure that you're getting it on nice and straight. So I just printed this and put it in the center and then kind of uh, Hover over the dish with the stencil and try to line it up how you want it. Be careful not to touch the glass because as you can see it sticks right away and it's really difficult to pull it off. So you want to make sure you don't do what I just did. Um, so carefully line it up and then you will place the stencil and smooth it on. You can use your hand, you can use something like a credit card is good to use, kind of like a squeegee to kind of um, smooth it on there um, and with these Pyrex dishes there are words on the bottom that are raised and so sometimes that can pose a problem if it's where your stencil needs to be so you'll want to make sure that you get in there with your fingernail or with whatever you're using to scrape really close and get as close as you can around those letters with your stencil so the seal is nice and tight because any bubble or lift in this in the stencil will allow some of the cream to leak through and that will um, etch the glass in places you don't want it to be etched. So uh, just smooth it all down the best that you can to make sure that there's not going to be any seep through. And then when you're done with that, you're going to peel the transfer tape off of the stencil. Um, and then that is going to expose the stencil so that you can add the cream. That's what I'm doing there, peeling that off. Um, as you can see, I cut the stencil just to size, so I want to add some painter's tape around the edges just to make sure I don't overlap onto the rest of the Pyrex dish because as soon as that cream touches the glass, it starts edging. So if you drip a little drop somewhere else on there and you clean it up with a rag just instantly, it's still going to leave a mark. So you want to be really careful not to spill any, splash any, uh, have any drip. So I added tape around the edge just to help me with that. Um, the next thing you're going to do is get your cream. You're going to want to stir that up. I think the directions say to, you can soak it in warm water for like five minutes before you're going to use it too and that helps it dissolve a little bit. But you want to stir it up nicely um, and then you're going to wear gloves because it's not a, a friendly product. Um, so make sure you wear gloves. You can wear a mask and goggles too if you'd like. Um, and then you're going to just kind of pour some on and I used a foam brush to spread mine around. Now it has little crystals in it and you don't want those little crystals to sit in one place for too long or it'll leave a spot um, in your etching. So what I do is just the whole time I have it sitting on there I kind of move it around and make sure that I have those crystals moving around. If you use the warm water, if you soak it in the warm water, the bottle beforehand, um, that might help dissolve some of those crystals a little more, but they're still going to be there. So I just kind of take the sponge and move it around and move it around. And for these, I let it sit for five minutes. So the whole entire five minutes, I was doing what you see me doing right now, just kind of smearing it around. But you want to be really careful when you're doing that too, especially with the little tiny letters and stuff like that, because you might move the stencil a little bit, peel it up, and cause some of that cream to go underneath. So, you know, kind of blot it and move it and be real gentle when you're moving it around. So I did this for the next five minutes, but um, I cut that out of the video because that's not much fun to watch for five minutes. But just keep moving it around and moving it around just like you see me doing there. Once that time is up, whatever the directions on the bottle say, but I believe this was five minutes I did for these. Um, once that time is up, you're going to want to rinse it, so take it in. If you have a utility sink, I suggest using that. Otherwise, in your kitchen or bathroom sink, rinse it. Make sure you keep it nice and diluted so it doesn't etch your sink. Um, rinse out your sink as soon as you're done. Uh, get all of the cream rinsed off, and then once you have that cream rinsed off, you can peel off your stencil. It should come off pretty easily because it's wet. Um, just kind of peel it away, and then you will dry up your 
dish and when it dries up you'll see the etching really well. When it's wet it's kind of hard to see the etching but as soon as it dries you will see the etching really well. Um, and then just wash it up, fill it with whatever you might be filling it with and give it away as a gift or keep it for yourself. I made these last year for teachers gifts because um, you know who doesn't go to a potluck and take a dish and um, now yours has your name on it so you know that it's yours and you'll never forget it at a party again people will know exactly who it belongs to so I think they make great gifts for weddings and housewarming and for the teachers pretty simple craft doesn't take long easy to make multiple at one time because um, you're doing all the same process just over and over so making three or four at a time is not much more work than just making one Check out my blog for other how-to videos, um, and thanks for watching.